Welcome to another Week in Review at the Gentleman's Picks Club. It is still spooky season. In the videos that I've been doing, I've still been a ghost, although I might keep myself flipping because I quite like that little effect. And it is the 27th of October, 2024. So, the first game we played this week was Cyclopean. Thank you to Iris Matrix for correcting the pronunciation of that for me. This was an old school adventure. I like Shadowgate and things like this, and when I saw this on Twitch, I reached out to the author saying, will there be a demo of this? And eventually a demo came, so we played this, and oh my god, what a great game this is. This is still a very, very early version of this, but I have a lot of hope that this is going to be really, really good. You know, first impressions are absolutely great. You've got a top-level view of, like, Ultima um, type games that you had from maybe the Commodore 64. And then you can go into Dungeon Master type views for when you go underground like you see on the screenshot here. And interestingly, or not interestingly for me, but I noticed at one point when I was having a look at the channel just to see, um, you know, any comments that I needed to reply to, that we were in this position here. And look at this, it had 666 views. So for the spooky season for a Halloween type game as well, I think it was worth capturing a screenshot of that. That video is doing very well. Thank you to each and every one of you that have chosen to look at that video. We followed this up by playing the Out Foxies, and this was on MAME. Now, Smash Brothers is a game that doesn't particularly appeal to me, but my thoughts are changing on this, because maybe this was the original Smash Brothers by some of the comments that were left below, and thank you to everybody that did, because this this is a, an interesting game where it's zoomed out, and then when you get closer to your enemy, it zooms in, and it's a one-on-one a -on -one beat -em up type game that you have across various levels, and it is really very, very good. If you've not seen this on MAME, have a look at the video, and if you enjoy that, check it out on MAME. It really, really is a great little game. And then we got Elisa Dragoon. Now, if I had probably uh, read this very quickly, I would have read it as Elisa's Dragon. You know, this is a game that I've never seen before. It was a recommendation to play, so thank you very much for that. I jumped on and had a go, and it was a really, really good game. This game on the Mega Drive, just looking at the box art alone, if I'd seen this when I was a Mega Drive owner, would I have bought it? Hell yes, absolutely I would have bought it. And would I have been disappointed in the gameplay? Absolutely not. This game is a stunner from a gameplay it's hard it is a little bit hard but you know what it is rewarding as you get forward and i played one level of it and i kind of did trash then i played it again doing pretty much exactly the same things and i got a little bit further so yeah this game has good progression you know good rewards and it makes you want to have just one more go and it is truly a just one more go game but not an arcade a console just one more go game now, we've also done Girls Aloud. You can scream again with Girls Aloud as we crossed that with the Killing Antidote. This was where we added, basically, the video that we did for the Killing Antidote, um, the first playthrough that we did, and we mixed it to a Girls Aloud soundtrack. We haven't had any more Killing Antidote um, in terms of the proper gameplay we've done. I will pick that up again in the very, very near future because, you know, I, I, I'm waiting for when I've got a gap and I've got nothing that I, I want to do, and then that will be the game. Working on the schedule where I try and have one retro game one slightly more modern game one retro game one slightly more modern game although this week we have basically erred i think on the side of a little bit more of the, the retro aesthetics on what we're looking to do we played aha uh -huh. so this is if you remember adventure on the atari 2600 tormentia is basically available on steam but it is adventure on acid you know you could pop quite a few pills here and you would get the experience of this game you know i didn't get too far in this and when i was reading the comments apparently I chose the hard path, and why would I do that? You know, my gameplay is shoddy at best, but I chose a hard path, and I probably should have chosen a slightly different path to get through there, but I had a lot of fun playing there. Go and check that video out if you want a bit of solid fun. We also did Fruit Machine Showcase. Now, with Wizard, the great uh, Chris Wren, who basically created MFME, he has long since passed, but his emulator rolls on and on and on, and we have did a few links here um, for some games that we played, you know, or a few videos, basically, of some games that we played on it, and we did quite a nice little presentation of what that emulator can do. Um, we also ripped a little bit from the arcade sim for the beginning intro, and that is uh, what we'll talk about that in a moment's time. But no, this is good, and again, apologies to Dad's FME. You know, I didn't put your video description, your, your URL, in the video or we'll talk about it. I was just so focused on making the video, but I have updated the video description. So everybody that's interested, you've got Desert Island Fruits, You've got Dad's FME and you've got The Excellent, all sources where you can get premium content for free. Never, ever pay for any Fruit Machine stuff. It is all free and you can download that off the internet. So those are the three sites that you want. Dad's FME, uh, The Excellent and DesertIslandFruits.com. All of those will give you all the content you want. But we need to talk about Arcade Simulator. 
an honourable mention for Arcade Simulator. I used a little bit of an intro that I made there for the uh, Fruit Machine stuff because Arcade Simulator does use MFME as one of the back ends that it's got. And you know, this is by John Parker. This is mwah, absolutely beautiful. This video that you see here is a little bit old on the channel in terms of, you know, it's not in recent weeks. Um, you know, it, it probably goes back six months ago. But go and take a look at this. It is absolutely glorious. And when he mentions Bloom in the comments for basically the, the Fruit Machine Simulator video title card I just showed you here. Um, in this particular video, I turn on the Bloom and it is absolutely gorgeous. It really, really is. Now, we've also played Wizard's Lair, and that is available today. Yes, you can look at this in the video description. Oh, sorry, if you can look at this on the, on, on the video channel, the Gentleman's Pixel Club video channel today, and you will see this. This is from WLS. This game should not exist. This game, in my personal opinion, is too good to be on a Game Boy Color. You know, he uses Game Boy Studio, and he does absolutely wonders with this. You know, WLS, Laszlo, he is the Game Boy Jesus. You know, he creates something out of basically nothing using GB Studio. And I never, ever would have thought this would have been possible. But WLS, Game Boy Jesus, thank you for the work that you do. It is truly appreciated. You are one of the lifebloods, and you are one of the key lifebloods, in my opinion, of Game Boy game development with what you produce, what you do. Um, this is based on Stephen Crowes. I believe that's the gentleman's name, original on the ZX Spectrum. But yeah, you're seeing here on this title card, that is actually a screenshot from the Game Boy Color. Obviously, I'm using a Mr. FPGA to do this, but this will work on real Game Boy games as well. But no, that is truly, truly very good. So I want to wrap up and say, you know, what am I looking forward to in the near future? Heretic. You know, this looks to be this year's Megan in terms of a great, great film. The trailer looks absolutely fantastic. Hugh Grant is deliciously evil in that trailer and what you see. Um, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool to have a neighbour like him, how he presents, at least on the trailer here, um, as long as I'm not involved in any of his shenanigans. But no, this, this looks really, really good. And every time... This trailer comes on on YouTube because it seems to be um, promoted on YouTube quite a lot. I just watch it every single time. I can't stop myself. This is going to be a great film. And on that note, I hope you all have a great week. Thank you for tuning into this channel. Thank you for watching. Little old me do what we do here. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.